How cool! A Spiritus Microfight Mark IV! Wow! Know your fucking place, trash! What's up everybody, Good Sir Knight here today, we're doing a review that I never really got around to, the uh, Spiritus Systems Microfight Mark IV. A little chest rig, an attempt to revolutionize the uh, chest rig designs of previous day, and adding in a bunch of different little modular details, and removing the uh, oh so popular Molly mounting system in exchange for a bunch of Velcro, which was replacing snap closures and all that stuff to begin with, so no buttons and stuff. Velcro everything is the moral of the story. So anyway, Mark IV Microfight. What's neat about it? What's, uh, what could they do differently? What's done better by others, honestly? Uh, well, let's take a look. So first off, your Microfight, it's basically this little fabric panel. It's got these two clips up here at the top. So you can mount it into the associated chest rig or onto a plate carrier using swift clips. So um, yeah, let's take a quick look here. I'm going to pull these magazines out real quick. And what you'll see is we basically have a bisected pouch. So you got a front portion and a back portion. Our back portion is utilizing, let me get you a bit closer here. Back portion is utilizing these elastic inserts. Now elastic works fine initially, but it has a tendency to wear out the longer you use it and the more time elapses. So it's not perfect. It is collapsible, which can be cool unless your goal is to uh, re-index magazines and stuff. At which point, if it collapses at the wrong time, you're not going to be able to effectively re-index the uh, magazine. It was an issue that was resolved with the uh, Haley D3CMR with the uh, was it the uh, DP2 or whatever mag inserts he's got going, pseudo Crydex, and those tend to work pretty well. So you got this insert here, and this could be removable. It's all just inserted there with Velcro. All of the uh, interior lining of the Microfite is the uh, soft part of the elastic, the uh, loop or the, uh, you know, the loop system and all the hooks are on the uh, retention part. So these are just like little, they're hollow for the most part. There's no bottom or anything to them, so you can still access the drainage grommets, which are generally used with some uh, shock cord and little clips, so you can retain an extra little uh, piece of gear down there, generally a tourniquet, but you could swap it out with other similar shaped items. Now you do have a front portion here. And you can swap put this out with a full flap or a half flap. This is kind of like a more standardized setup to carry uh, two extra pistol mags up at the front. And then you got your little notebook. Uh, notebook, spoon, pens, all your little extra gear can go in there. Depending on what could be mission critical. This front pouch is relatively small. Considering the uh, size of the uh, rear pouch. As you can see it's sewn on there so it gives a bit of extra space is not nearly as wide as the back so you could technically carry six mags but that's also going to be a lot of added weight to your little adaptable chest rig system here so the flaps are interesting they uh, loop in from the back here because they got the thick velcro and you can put them over there so you can replace this with a full flap if you just want to fill it with say medical supplies because to be honest most people i've seen or at least as far as i've gone these uh two pouches here up at the front Almost entirely unused because you put extra pistol mags in there and you're bulking up your front and it's going to make it difficult to get uh, close to the dirt when the need arises. So you could probably put two like simple flashlights or something like that in there. It'd be better used as a utility pouch than a mag pouch considering I generally keep my two handgun mags on my belt line anyway. Otherwise, I'm not running a handgun. I'm just carrying the rifle. So things to consider. You can see your back here. It's a nice little cross-stitched uh, setup going on. It's alright. These uh, little flaps here on the side, these little ear pieces, they're used to attach the clips to for the chest rig, if you so desire, but otherwise they're generally uncontained. Some people put pens and stuff through them, but what I've noticed they do more than anything is this notion. Yep, just like that, and they catch into the Velcro and they slowly tear themselves apart. You can see there's a good chunk of fraying going on here, so there probably could have been some type of countermeasure to that, but eh. Thus is life, say la vie, and all that. Of course, you got your cool little Spirit of Systems tag down here so people know it's cool. There are a ton of airsoft replicas of these. I see people running them all the time 
and finding the real ones are almost non-existent. These things are relatively hard to come by, and given the current situation of 2020, these are going on eBay for close to like 400 bucks, and that's like without the inserts, without the flaps, just a straight up single Mark IV baseline piece without the shock cord or anything. $400. Absolutely wild. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, so yeah, you generally get to use your two bottom drainage grommets here. Those are looped in through the front portion here. If you want to pull out all this stuff and get a good look in there. But yeah, for the most part, it's all just elastic. I can probably actually remove these because they're never going to be used and replace with a full flap. And add more medical supplies. Because if there's one thing, you will never be remorse, you'll never regret carrying more of. It's generally going to be medical supplies. If not for you, then for others. So yeah. As you can see with the elastic inserts, I've got these mags in here for so long they're generally staying popped open, but with them popped open it's relatively, there's a bit of a challenge getting the uh, lip through and stuff. These do catch on the um, mag pull, was it like the M3s and stuff, because of the way the feed lip and everything's set up and the extra little nubules, they'll catch at the bottom and they'll be absolutely impossible to uh, to pull out and you end up with little mag pull babies. So something to keep in mind is probably better to be using the um, Haley Strategic D3 CRM, which I'm mostly making this review because I actually was able to order one. And we're waiting for it to come in the mail. Actually, if you take a good look here, you'll see that's actually just like a standard buckle that you would normally weave the fabric through and everything, and that's just kind of sewn in there. Uh, okay, so that's a interesting choice, design-wise. No fancy buckles, just pretty standard stuff. But hey, so that's pretty neat. There's no way to remove these without cutting the fabric, so if you don't know anything about sewing, uh, probably don't do that. And yeah, so you got some uh, cool things going on there. So, I got my nice little table set up today. And what we're going to do is, what we, all you need to do is if you're running a, I'm running the SPC. This is most commonly done with GPCs and a few other plate carriers that now have no sort of like front craziness going on. Did you just clip these boys in here real quick. That's one. And two. Place it down and that's it. That's all that goes into it. And then you take your mags, you set those back up. Let's say, well, these ones on this side. And our free little mag over there. And bam. Weights evenly distributed. Now, these, the elastic's not terrible, all things considered. No mags aren't flying out or anything. And I could technically go inverted without a mag falling out, knocking me out, hitting me in the chin or anything crazy like that. Which is cool, but the elastic, it just doesn't have a satisfying click. The retention's eh. And depending on what type of mags you use, you can run into all sorts of issues. So running out plate carrier, incredibly easy, pretty nice. And uh, yeah, nothing uh, too crazy to say about it. But what's cool is how easily you can change these over into uh, chest rigs. I know the SPC came out with a fun little development where they have that removable air light chest rig. So you mount all your stuff to that, then you just slap that onto your plate carrier and you're good. Or if you're like, hey, we're not going to need armor, you can clip that free, and then you can just wear it as a normal chest rig. So, unfortunately, no experience with that. Would be cool as a future purchase to review and kind of like cover some information of, but yeah, so. We've covered more or less everything that goes into this, so. All that's left is the, uh, you get this backing. This is a little piece of a uh, basic Velcro. This is actually fairly uncomfortable as a material. There is someone making custom mesh backings for these, which if you're planning on running it plate or chest rig wise, is probably a really, really good idea because this is not bearing your comfort in mind, let's say. So, you want to swap this over to a chest rig because you want to go super light. To add to the ability for it to do all sorts of cool, fancy chest, uh, chest rig things is the fact that there is this Velcro on the back here. You can take that radio pouch or any custom radio pouch you have and mount those off to the sides. They make a little um, lunch boxes and stuff you can mount on the bottom so you can carry your uh, Capri Suns in the battle and all your uh, gushers, you know, the wartime essentials. What you do is when you want to run, I do like, the, I will admit, I do like the uh, Chester here from the pictures I've just seen of the uh, Haley one with the X straps. I'm definitely more of a fan of the H strap setup when it comes to these things. So I've got my. Uh, what you call that? That's the bottom waist strap there. This is just really simple, basic fabric material. There's nothing cool that. And most importantly, what makes me upset with this is there's no elasticity. If you got something that's gonna be connected to your body, where you're gonna be doing this uh, thing, you might have heard of it. It's called breathing. 
Uh, no elasticity can be relatively problematic, so it doesn't even need to be a lot. I know a few people in the gear industry are actually working on making a similar strap with said elasticity. That would be a huge boon, but in the meantime, it's just this really, really basic strap thing you got going on here. So, first thing I like to do is you take your uh, clip boys here. That's their technical term, clip boys. You just want to strap these into the uh, top parts here real quick. Just so those get nice and covered. These do have nice little uh, covers for those buckles so they're not as clackety clack as they could be. You've got some bits, two bits of molly and then one little elastic webbing. I know I said they were trying to get away from uh, webbing, but it's impossible. You cannot do it. So you set those up real quick and then you got these guys over here. Over her, and what you want to do, you want to take these clips and you just want to get them mounted into those little eyelets. It's not terrible, although it is a pain to get done because these things are so flimsy. I think uh, beefing them up just a wee bit could have gone a far way. But you know, it, for the me mo most part it works. But this is a huge pain to get these set up, which is why I generally only run it as a chest, as a plate carrier panel and never in its chest rig configuration, although if I'm going to be doing a lot of range training here in the near future, a lot of the time armor won't be necessary, although the SPC and its armor is so light to begin with, it doesn't bother me nearly as much, although I do sweat profusely, so. Alright, so this isn't gonna work in any conceivable regard. This is just gonna be a huge pain. Uh, the ed my editor may or may not edit the majority of this out, so, you know. Because it's a huge pain. Again, it's a huge pain. This is probably the thing I dislike the most about Spiritus. Out of all the things there are to dislike, so... Ah, come on. There we go. We got one! We got one, guys. We've practically done it. I would just keep it. Some people leave these clips on. It's a bold move. Very, very bold move. It's not the, uh, not the way I would play. But you know, each their own. Oh, there we go, we got that one a bit faster. Alright, then we can take these next ones, yay! And we keep going. We just keep attaching them. There's only four, but you would think... <laughs> you would think there would be a significantly easier way to do this. But there's not. This is probably the first thing. If they make a Mark V, this is the first thing I would address. Outside of a multitude of other issues, this is definitely the first thing I'd get fixed, is if you want people to go easily to a chest rig, then uh, maybe make the chest rig components a bit easier. Maybe something that clips in faster and more effectively. Maybe different buckles, better material choices. This is really flimsy too. This definitely isn't Condora 1000. This might be 500. But it's a thing. I mean, it's not perfect, but honestly, personally, I would just uh, cut these off and never run it as a chest rig ever because it's not worth it. Or, I don't know, given the fact that you've got all of this Velcro back here, just absurd amounts of Velcro, maybe you could make something that just Velcros in to that back part and uh, you can just connect the clips from there. It would be way faster. There you go. Okay, Spiritus, before you block me on social media, here's my open message to you. Take this stuff off, just remove it all together, and take the clip, have it sewn into the fabric, and then add some Velcro to it. And I could go, oh, I need to go chest rig style, let me grab my bag of Velcro clips. You can put long Velcro on too, you can connect them. Connect the clips together, two on the side, and then just put your Velcro on there, slap it on the back, put your little cover over it, and that Velcro is not going to come off. I don't know. Maybe it won't work. Maybe, I mean, I'm not the gear designer here. You guys are, technically, but if you wanted some feedback, that's just my first immediate thought of what I would do. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to clip this into one side, like so. You're going to want to pop one of these open, and you're all set to get your chest rig on. Slide that on over there. Put that up over that way. Find that clip. Make sure it's not twisted. Put that through there. Alrighty. Take this guy and hopefully we didn't put on too much weight. 
I really left that way too tight, didn't I? And yeah, you've got your chest rig going on. Ugh, all these beefy man muscles. So you got your chest rig. I do need to loosen that up a bit. I may have uh, caught the pandem thickness since I last wore this. And by pandem thick, pandem thickness, I mean I've been working out. It's all muscle, I swear. Damn. Damn, boy. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn, but Again, hard to breathe. Kind of like a corset more than a more than a chest rig. Uh, you know we don't need the bottom strap. It's better without the bottom strap. It's a bit bouncier without the bottom strap. But again, elastic would make a huge boat a huge boon here. So you got your chest rig. You can set it up to sit a bit higher. You have it sit a bit lower. Uh, yeah, you can run your PTT and radio stuff off on the side here. It is an awkward fit, despite the fact that I like it, so put your little bit of Velcro there, and you got your bit of a pseudo-drag handle going on if you get into trouble, so. Simple, light, little reconnaissance setup. Nothing too fancy. The fabric isn't terribly uncomfortable, but with the uh, improved padded mesh ones, you can avoid a lot of the uh, sweat and discomfort that's associated with that, so. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you want to run it as a chest rig, it's relatively small, it's lightweight, and with all the extra junk out of the front, you save a lot of time and effort, so. Cool idea. I am looking forward to comparing it to the uh, Haley D3 CMR when that comes in, and uh, yeah, that will be fun, so. That's all I got for you guys so far. Cheers, stay chivalrous, and I will see you in the next video. If you got any comments, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. But if you're looking for everything wrong with Spiritus, well, um, there may be a video coming out in the near future that I will link in the comments be or the uh, description below whenever it's done. So we'll see what happens. Cheers, everyone. And uh, stay sexy out there. Farewell. Yeah.